Now, one important point is that if patients have symptoms at the fifth metatarsal, there are three things to consider. The first is a fracture, which you look for a step off, a very common fracture we see. The second would be a peritoneus brevis tendon problem. But what's important is many patients are going to have plantar fasciopathy of the lateral part of plantar aponeurosis. So to look at that, when I'm positioned on the fifth metatarsal, I'm going to simply move the transducer more plantar, like this, and what we'll see more proximally now is the attachment of the plantar aponeurosis right here. So this can be a very common site of pathology as well. So basically coming around more plantar like this will give us that and that appearance of the normal plantar aponeurosis. And then we can then angle the transducer slightly toward the center or the calcaneus to look at the entire aspect of this attachment of the plantar aponeurosis.